welcome back to the Justin Lee Coyne Show. Still to come, I'll be chatting to the voice of your favourite Simpsons characters, Hank Azaria, and Alexander Armstrong will be joining us. Right now, I'm chatting to McFly. <laughs> Dan, who's got the um, outrageous tattoo? What outrageous tattoo? What it outrageous? depends. We've all got tattoos, but it depends which one's outrageous. He passed out on his. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got, Dougie? Um, go on, let's see it. Go on, get, get out, get out. out. It's, uh, a chameleon in a spaceship. It's what? A chameleon in a... No, sorry. Alien in a spaceship there, shooting uh, Neil Armstrong in a moon buggy and he's flipping him off. He's been flicked off by who? He's been... <laughs> Neil Armstrong's up here flipping off an alien that's trying to shoot him. On the moon? <laughs> on the moon. <laughs> I think we've got a close-up of it. We can see it. Wow! <laughs> Dougie, you appear to have a vagina in your chest. <laughs> That's a very realistic tattoo. <laughs> I mean, I've not seen that many, but I have to say, yours is quite spectacular. What we did with our audience tonight, on the way in, we asked them if they had any particular tattoos, any significant tattoos, and we managed to find a few. Um, let's see if we can find someone with a tattoo to top yours, Doug. Where's Jack Newton? Hey, Jack, stand up for us, mate. Ooh. How are you doing, Jack? Yeah, good. Audience, Jack. Jack, audience. Now, you've seen what the boys have got, Jack, and you, I mean, Dougie's is quite spectacular, isn't it? I think it's blinding. <laughs> okay. Um, so what do you have for us, Jack? Um, I've got a portrait of Stephen Hawking on the back of my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Hawking's? Yeah, well, he's an inspirational man, and it's a fucking awesome tattoo. <laughs> well, let's have a look at this tattoo, Jack. Can we see that clearly? What do you think, boys? Oh, he's all awesome. That that is, that's wicked. That is amazing. That's incredible. Oh, it's a really good tattoo as well. It's a quality tattoo. Yes. I mean, I'm not sure I'd want it, Harry, but... <laughs> There's a little bit of script underneath it as well. What does it say, Jack? He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Most Stubbsy. Dave Stubbs. Hey, Hello, Dave. How you doing, mate? Dave, you're it's from Bristol. Sure. Originally, yeah. Uh, what have you got for us? You probably recognise it. It's the Clifton Suspension Bridge with Concord going through it. Whoa! <laughs> Where is it? On my back. Let's have a look, Stubbsy. <laughs> oh, my good God. Look at that. <laughs> that was the historic day, of course. Concord's final flight, flying over Brunel's masterpiece. The Clifton Suspension Bridge, yes. Stubbsy, I was there on that day. So was I. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Were you really, Stubbsy? Because, no, turn back round, Stubbsy, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stubbsy, with you, it's all about the rear. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a no. <laughs> Stubbsy. Yes, mate. I'm not so sure you were there because I was, and I do not remember <laughs> seeing the giant head of a wolf. <laughs> That's sensational. <laughs> that really... Stubbsy, thank you so much, mate. Um, have we got another one? We've got time for one more? Um, Dane Gilby. Dane, where are you? <laughs> Dane, could you stand up for us? What have you got for us, Dane? I've got a fried breakfast. You have a fried <laughs> breakfast? Dane, I think, it's, I think it's wonderful that you brought a snack. <laughs> but this is about tattoos. What, what tattoo do you have? I've got a fried breakfast tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> is this freaking you out, Doug? Yeah, this is a bit weird. <laughs> you have a, a tattoo on somewhere on your body of a fry-up. Yeah. Where, where is it, Dane?
Jane, I'm, I'm so sorry. If, if, I, I'm not quite sure if I just saw a grilled tomato or a melanoma. Can you just... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Dane. Dane, in all honesty, why? I still ain't got an answer for that. <laughs> but at least you've asked yourself the question. <laughs> Just bend forward, let me just have one more look at this thing. <laughs> then do you, are you in a relationship? I am, yeah. You, you have a partner? I do. Is your partner vegetarian or...? <laughs> <laughs> Would that be a problem if you were to meet someone who was veggie? More meat. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're, they're veggie, though. I'll get their meat, no problem. No, but they're... <laughs> no, but they're veggie, though, Dave. They won't be having meat, what he's trying to say. They don't have any meat, Dane. No, I have their meat. No, but... <laughs> no, but Dane, they're vegetarian. OK. It'd be a big problem. <laughs> It'd be a big problem. <laughs> and that would pose a problem because... No meat. <laughs> Where did you live? <laughs> where, where are you from? Bedworth. Ben, where's that? Warwickshire. Where's that? <laughs> Snare Coventry. Okay. Can we, uh, can we come and hang out with you? <laughs> Would you like to come on the tour bus? <laughs> we'll bring meat. <laughs> Ding. We'll bring a lot of meat. Some lamb rebels. <laughs> Everybody. How about we sing out the show together? Would you be up for that? Yeah, yeah. Would that would make my day. Would it make yours though? Of course. For the time being, McFly, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Now earlier in the show, McFly begged me to sing out the show with them. That after much consideration, I have relented. <laughs> so for one night only, fulfilling their hopes and their dreams, <laughs> it's McFly and me. <laughs> We're gonna help you out. <laughs> right. Right. Let's do this. Let's do it. One, two, three. Something I thought you knew So I told you with a smile It's all about you yeah. Then you whispered in my ear And you told me to Make my life worthwhile It's all about you You asked me to, but if you deny me one of your kisses, I don't know what I'd do. So hold me close and say three words like you used to do, dancing on the kitchen tiles. 